All right. Hey guys, welcome to that LP show. The name of the game is Super Mario Odyssey. Last time we fought Bowser, we caught up with him in the clouds. Uh, we kicked his ass, then he shot us with cannons. There's the Odyssey. All uh, well, it's been better. Now we got to find power moons because for some reason, fuel sources also repair vehicles, don't you know? Like if you get your car totaled in a in an accident, it's just all smushed up and you know, unserviceable. All you gotta do is uh, put some gasoline in it, and that'll patch it up. Uh, purple coins? Yeah, I thought there were purple coins up here. So yeah, a little bit of a detour before go getting to the uh, Metro Kingdom. I was actually kind of mad the first time I saw this place because I was promised the Metro Kingdom. They hyped it up in all of the trailers. I was promised the Metro Kingdom. I didn't get the Metro Kingdom. Good. I hated them anyway. Well, I guess we gotta go save them. You already have 999 moons? I did that once. Mm, is it worth it? Maybe. You know, for a, for a hat on the castle. I, I love this game, but uh, I think now I pretty much do casual playthroughs. You know, not going for anything. Um, except for, you know, when I'm streaming it. I am going to do 100% because, you know, I'm streaming the game, so... Yeah, I figure I'll do that because I'm not good enough to speedrun it. I'm getting older. I don't have those reflexes anymore. Whoa. Oh, shit. Well. Come on. Land. Land. I don't know why you went after a hat. Hats aren't made of meat. I don't know. He's alive. Does Cappy have some hat meat? All right, let's run around. Uh, hmm. Yeah, uh, by 100%, I do mean, like, all of the moons, all of the purple coins, all of the different things that you can buy in the shop, all of that stuff, all of the good stuff. Uh, you want to eat? You want to eat SA three? Or you want to eat Cappy? I'm like, you want to eat Sonic Adventure three? <laughs> I guess you could eat Sonic Adventure three if it existed. I get. I suppose for all intents and purposes, uh, Sonic 06 is kind of Sonic Adventure three. <laughs> Yeah, you do you, bro. We won't we, we won't judge you for wanting to uh, eat a sentient hat. Well, that was dumb. Why'd I do that? Just walk right off the edge. That's fine. Oh, what was it? So, those of you who uh, have been keeping up with me lately probably noticed that I started streaming pretty much regularly with a consistent schedule on uh, Saturdays, Sundays, and Mondays, and that's still going on. I was just uh, really busy, and by busy, uh, I mean new DLC came out for Xenoblade Chronicles 2. Uh, so I played that rather than streaming, but I got my notes and everything ready for the next Xenoblade Chronicles session, so, um, Monday, next Monday, more Xenoblade Chronicles, also, uh, Sunday, Twilight Princess, I don't need to take too many notes on Twilight Princess, though. Sam's Acrobatics 3, uh, there, oh, Sonic Advance 3! I have mixed feelings on that one. Um, I've played and completed Sonic Advance 1 and 2. Um, 
I don't know. Uh, S -S -Sonic, Sonic Advance 3 was, uh, it was weird. It was different. If I recall, it was kind of Metroidvania-y for a Sonic game. Maybe I'm misremembering, but there, there was some backtracking in that game. And different routes, depending on the different teams that you uh, formed. Because you could like choose your two different characters and form different teams. I might be thinking of a completely different game. Um, my memories of Sonic Advance 3 are very, very limited. Because I really didn't, uh, I didn't play it much. And I can't remember why I didn't play it much. I can't remember if it's because I, I didn't like it. Or if it's because, uh, I was probably just, like, really busy with life at the time and didn't have time to play it. What's my favorite kingdom? Hmm... I'm gonna have to go with Bowser's Kingdom. I just like the whole uh, Japanese castle aesthetic. Yeah, I'm comfortable with that answer. <laughs> yeah, I'll go with Bowser's Kingdom. I'll leave that heart for a little later. Oh. Gonna have to go to the Metro Kingdom. You know what? I uh, I do like that one. I do like that one. But it's not my favorite because it's very... Um, what's the word I'm looking for? Packed? It's kind of packed. Uh, and by that, I, I mean like... Like, everything's, like, mushed and crunched. Well, shit. <laughs> everything's kind of mushed and crunched together. Like, you have, like, buildings and you have, like, little nooks and crannies in between the different buildings. And it's not like with the more opened up kingdoms where you can, um... Where you can kind of get to a high elevation and look around to see what you are missing. Because things are going to be, like, packed away in this, uh you know, little crack in between two buildings or like a fold in a building and you're not going to be able to see it. This is really frustrating for getting 100%. So, yeah, it's a cool kingdom. Aesthetically, I like it. Design-wise, not my favorite. We need the memes. What memes? Mm-hmm. I'm always late on the newest memes. But you know what they say, better late than pregnant. There's nothing hidden, okay. Oh, uh, let's get you. playing Breath of the Wild, I need to get back to that. I really do. I 100%ed the base game, and then I just got burnt out. You know, those Korok seeds did me in. I got all 900 of them, and it, th that was it. <laughs> that, that was it. I got 100% in the base game. I did purchase the expansion pass. I have not touched any of the DLC since I beat that game. None of it. I have it. I have all of it. I bought the expansion pass, but uh, yeah, I haven't touched any of it. haven't played Master Mode. I really need to get back to that game, but I got really, really, really burnt out after 100%ing it because it's a beefy game. This is coming from a guy who's 100%ed all three Xenoblade Chronicles games. We got the last little bit of DLC uh, for Xenoblade Chronicles before, like, the big Torna expansion. So I'm comfortable in saying that 
as far as the main campaign of Xenoblade Chronicles 2, I pretty much 100%ed it, you know, did all the side quests, got all the blades, uh, got all those blades to S plus trust. I, I feel like I've pretty much done all that I can. Uh, and then you haven't touched it in a couple of months. Do I get that? Huh, dude? So you play this and then haven't touched it in a couple of months. Do I get that right? Um, kind of. Yeah. Whoa, yeah. I streamed this back in January. Uh, then I decided, you know what? I'm just going to start the playthrough over. Yeah, the beginning of this year was rough. Like, just, just the whole front half of this year was kind of rough for scheduling. But, I think I got a thing now. Um, except for, you know, this past weekend when I didn't stream. But that wasn't a scheduling thing. That was me just not wanting to stream because I wanted to play Xenoblade Chronicles 2. And, you know, the problem when you stream... It, especially, you know, in someone in my case where, uh, you know, your stream time is your dedicated game time. Um, so you have, you have that option of, do I want to, do I want to stream or do I want to quietly enjoy a game on my own and then I have to pick. And in the case with Xenoblade Chronicles 2, that's a game that I just want to quietly enjoy on my own. Uh, any new games you want from the net? Oh, oh. Eh? Eh? Yeah, that's not available until tomorrow, though. So, can't do anything with that yet. Ah, oh, crap. Yeah, but I... Hopefully that right there answers your question. Getting Undertale? I already have Undertale on Steam. And I did a playthrough of Undertale already. Although, I, I have entertained the idea of redoing Undertale. For the simple fact that uh, when I played it, that was back when I was relatively new at streaming. And I didn't really... Uh, yeah, I was, ha I was having... Uh, what, what am I doing? I was having uh, connection issues, so there was a, like a lot, a lot of lag, and the finale of that game was just completely ruined by all the lag. So I think sometime in the future, I might replay Undertale. You know, just to just to get a playthrough that isn't, you know, getting destroyed by technical issues. Also, Yumi, I didn't say hi to you. I acknowledged your thing, and I knew it was you, but I didn't say hi, I don't think. I Yeah, I know I have enough moons. I'm doing 100%, though. I'm going to get all of them. What are, you, what are you doing? Come on, grabby hands. Get the hell over here. Ah, oh, there's another layer. Come on. Yeah, I've, uh, Zababa Gaming, if you're not familiar with my channel, I typically do 100% playthroughs of any game that I cover. Yeah, that means my current playthrough of Xenoblade Chronicles? Hell yeah, I'm doing all 400 of those side quests. Am I insane? Verdict's still out, but I'm gonna go with a solid maybe. The hell? Yeah. Hi. I'll get those later. We'll actually be needing those uh shorts. Uh, later in the game, but I, I'll get them when it's important. Yeah, sure. I'll, uh, run around in another costume right now. 
Actually, speaking of those shorts, it's really funny to run around in the aviator cap and uh, the underwear there. Um, it it kind of makes me look at Mario, and he reminds me of like uh, like a really old retired World War II pilot who uh, thinks he's still in World War II and he escaped from the retirement home wearing his aviator cap and his underwear and he's just like kind of like off his meds and everybody's like, okay, okay, Grandpa, come on, come on. You're not fighting Nazis anymore. Come on. Hmm. There we go. Well, almost Xenoblade. Xenoblade's Monday. Xenoblade's Monday, Mayneth. I, I didn't uh, stream it this weekend because, you know, the the new DLC, you know, Elma and Corvin, I needed to uh, I needed to spend time playing Xenoblade 2 to get them all up to S+. Priorities. <laughs> So, yeah, but I got my notes and everything ready for uh, my next playthrough, or for my next session of Xenoblade, which will be Monday. Uh... Hmm, where's the... I always... There we go. Oh, here we go. I hate these purple coins right here. You're here from Samurai. Eee! Ooh, yes! Uh, okay. I usually overshoot these damn things, and then I die. Samurai. Samurai. Oh my god, I feel like I should know what you're talking about, and I feel like a dick now. Bling. Uh, oh, okay. I need to get another wiggler. Swamp Hill. That sounds like a... That sounds like a Sonic Zone. Swamp Hill Zone. Can you imagine? Same with Elmo. At least I didn't do anything with Corvillain yet. You don't like his design, but his affinity chart looks pretty nice. His design, oh my god, he's totally a blonde Kirito from uh, Sword Art Online, isn't he? He's a fucking blonde Kirito. He He's pretty good, though. His moveset mimics uh, Katana. I like him on Morag. Uh, what's cool about him, though, is no matter who you put him on, they all get uh, they all get a m move with the smash ability for their driver combos. So Rex, if you use him on Rex, Rex finally has somebody besides Rock for smashing. Hmm. What do you guys do? <laughs> You just don't like him, what, as far as, like, design or attitude? Yeah, first thing I saw when... Uh, oh, first thing I thought when I saw him is that he's... He's... Like, uh... Blonde Kirito, if you've ever watched Sword Art Online, and I don't really like that show. <laughs> uh, both? Below the cliff's edge. Is that it? That seems to be it. Below the cliff's edge. Oh my god. Um.
I can't friggin' remember. <laughs> Alright, got all those purples. Below the cliff's edge, below the cliff's edge. Please don't tell me I missed this one. Cause this one's kind of... No, I didn't miss it. Oh! I totally remember now. Alright. Cool, cool, cool. Watch a little SAO, you know what I mean? But Kirito's design is much better in my opinion. Now, I always felt, uh, uh, like, when you see Sword Online, it's like, I, I, I'm, what crosses my mind is just, like, generic anime. That's the first term that comes to my mind, is just a generic anime look. Like, when you, when someone says anime and an image pops in your head, it's usually a character, uh, with a similar design philosophy behind them. Um, at first glance, that's what Xenoblade Chronicles 2 kind of made me think. No more hints. All right. Mm, I didn't buy all the thingamajigs. That's fine. That's fine. I'm actually going to be coming back here. I'll do that later, though. I don't know if it's placed all better because she's a great solo and low-level blade. Whatever, I'm going to stop talking about Xenoblade. <laughs> no, you don't have to talk, stop talking about Xenoblade. I love talking about Xenoblade. Who do you use Elma on? I find that uh, Rex is good because she her she uses the dual daggers similarly, similarly to, like, Fiora, which has kind of a, a twin ring set. Uh, so I, I like her on I like her on Nia if I need healing, but I, I, I don't know I don't like at this point I'm I'm not a huge fan of Nia as a driver because I feel like a dedicated healer becomes superfluous at a certain point. You have her on Morag. I've never used Twin Rings on Morag or anything similar to it. Does she have a good Twin Ring set? I usually look for something that's useful in a driver combo. So, I like her on Rex. Uh, I don't think he gets any driver combo stuff, but... I don't know. I, I, use, I use Cressidus on Nia. <laughs> but then again, I don't really use the Torna Blades that much because you can't really customize them with the chips. Oh, you know what? Ah, mm, 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 nah. I'll go with this because I'm just going to change outfits anyway you guys know which one oh I haven't seen you since no she was in the Mario vs Donkey Kong games I have to find a way to save my city and in order to save my city I had to become someone else I had to become something else <laughs> 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 now I'm picturing Mario as Oliver Queen. <laughs> Fuck. Uh. Sometimes I hate my brain. <laughs> you know what? What am I doing? Let's go to the shop real quick. Hmm. Oh wait a minute! Let's let's back out of here real quick. Listen to him. Listen to him. I just want to die. He said, li "Listen." He said, "I just want to die." <laughs> I just want to die. Come on, buddy. You want to talk about it? I'd probably want to die too if my if I worked for a company that made me wear that. 
Why is it raining? Uh, because when bad guys are in a place, it rains there to let you know that things aren't good. You don't hear it? You don't hear him saying, like, I just want to die. Hey, be nice. Okay, then I'll continue this. <laughs> so, Mori has a very similar twin, twin ring move set to Nia, but what's really amazing is Elma's dodge attack because it only needs five things to char- things? Oh, I can't do that yet. All right. Did I buy the... Hey, Yumi, come on. I think he was lurking. He was lurking. It just went to die. Yeah, don't call out a lurker. Uh-oh. I probably should have put on ultra low latency, but I wasn't sure if YouTube's still having issues with it. No, you're not Banjaronis. I don't know what make you think that. Guilty conscience? You had ultra low the other day and your computer was acting up? Um, <clears throat> yeah, I don't know if it's YouTube or me. I don't know. All I know is that, um, what is it? The 6th. On the, oh my god, what day does the 6th fall on? September 6th. September 6th. Okay, it's a Thursday. All right, all right. We're okay. Uh... You don't know what it's called in English, but the attacks have a charge speed stat, and five is very low for that, so if you do it right, your base- Oh, are you talking about overdrive? Are you talking about overdrive? Yeah. I think you're talking about overdrive. You know that you know that mechanic from Xenoblade that they can tap in to the full potential uh, from Xenoblade X. I mean, where they can like tap into the full potential of their uh, of their Mimeozomes and, for all intents and purposes, go friggin' Kaioken. But <laughs> you know what bugs me though about Elma's uh, appearance in. Uh, Xenoblade Chronicles 2. So the um <clears throat> the Napon Arch Sage pretty much transfers their souls to the land of challenge and they're allowed to go you know in spirit to all rest. Why does Elma's spirit take the form of her Mimeozome instead of her Xeno form? You know, because Elma's not really human. When YouTube is wanting those to get 100k subs in order to get sponsorship, huh? When is YouTube wanting those to get 100k subs in order to get sponsorship? I don't think they're... I don't think they're gonna do that. Uh, what is Xenoblade? What console is it for? Uh, well, there's Xenoblade... The Xenoblade series is, uh... It's a series of uh, action RPGs um, made by Monolith Soft, who you might also know from uh, creating the Xeno Saga trilogy, which uh, was published by Namco for the PlayStation 2 back in the day. And um, it's led by Tatsuya Takahashi, who uh, led development on Xeno Gears for Square for Square on the PlayStation One. 
But uh, Xenoblade Chronicles is what Monolith Soft is doing for Nintendo lately. The original game is on the Wii. Um, it also has a port for the Nintendo 3DS, specifically the new Nintendo 3DS. Uh, you actually have to play it on the enhanced version. Um, it's also available for $20 on the Wii U eShop as a digital download. So yeah, the original Xenoblade Chronicles is a Wii game. There's a spiritual successor to that game, uh, Xenoblade Chronicles X, which is on the Wii U. And then there's uh, its sequel, Xenoblade Chronicles 2, which is on Nintendo Switch. We were talking about 1,000 subs being a trial period. Okay. I mean, I don't really... I don't care. <laughs> I don't know. Don't think they wanted to do a great story with Challenger. Yeah. Yeah. It's just, if you've played Xenoblade Chronicles X and you know the nature of all the people in uh, New L.A. Yeah, I, I don't think I received any messages about, uh, or I didn't look because I don't really look for that stuff. If they raise the requirement for sponsorship, then they raise the requirement for sponsorship. Oh well. So this is a family-friendly yeah, channel. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think you just answered your question by subscribing. Thank you for subscribing, by the way. Um, as you can see by the, uh, uh, giant green head-banging tentacled penis monster in a rocket-powered golden chariot, no, it's not exactly a family-friendly channel. <laughs> You watch Xenosaga and Gears? I've actually played them. Tips Fedora. <laughs> you call yourself a real Xeno fan? <laughs> what what joke did I ruin? I don't just <laughs> no. I don't ruin jokes, I enhance them. I make them better. He asked if it's a family-friendly channel right as my sub notifier, which is a penis monster, shows up on screen. Oh shit. What happens if someone donates? Uh It depends on how much you donate. I don't remember the exact amounts, but you're either going to get um you're either going to get Pipecock, which is the ding 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 guy. Uh if, if you ever donated to Gaming Lawyer, you've probably seen it because I gave him the idea. Um, you could get the Konsume Panchi dog, you know, Konsume, Konsume, Konsume Panchi, from the Japanese chip commercials. Um, or you can get, like, the Platypus Bear. I can't remember the exact amounts. I think, I think it's the, I think it's the dog or pipe. I, I know for the Platypus Bear... Maybe 20? Shit, I don't know. I kind of, uh... I kind of just slapped those together because I never expect anyone to donate, so I didn't really think about it. <laughs> I just popped a few in there uh, to be funny. Um, I don't want to mention my sponsor notifier or membership notifier because Dark Jake 13 will never let me live it down. So. <laughs> wow. 
Yeah, if he saw that, he wouldn't let it go. But then again, I have only myself to blame for embracing the madness. Oh god, I think I put too much sugar in my coffee. That the pipe cop for um uh, mm, a six nine. Okay, I get it. Tink, tink, tink. Ah. Can't play them because I don't have a console to play them because I wasn't even existing when Xeno Gears came out, and I'm not sure about Xeno Saga. Wow, you're young, then. That would put you below 20... That... Yeah, you're young, then. You couldn't be any older than 19 or 20. Because Xeno, Xeno Gears came out in 98. But, uh, Xeno Saga... I think the first one in that series came out in... What do you mean you're unsure about Xenosaga, like when it came out? Because definitely after Xeno Gears. Or are you saying you're not sure about its quality, you don't think you'd like it? Yeah. <laughs> if if you're uh Yeah, you're pretty much still a kid if you're younger than Xeno Gears. Well, a kid to me. Chat. And dead. Was it 2003? Yeah, because I think episode 3 came out in 2006. I remember that because one of the big reasons that they cut it down to... Uh, because uh, Xeno Saga was originally supposed to be six episodes long. Fucking Takahashi being all ambitious. Can you believe that Xeno Gears was originally intended to be four discs? And they had to cut it down to two. But, <laughs> yeah, I remember the reason they cut Xeno Saga down to three episodes was because they wanted to uh, focus on the PS3. And uh, I don't think Monolith wanted to shift development of uh, the series to PS3. Oh my god, you're a baby then. Let's see. I, I got I gotta see this now. Uh, Xeno Saga episode one, February twenty eighth, two thousand two. So we're looking at two thousand two. Stephen King's poem. Oh, once was a man called Dave. Who kept a dead whore in a cave. It was a horrible sight, but I had to admit he was right. When he talked of the money, he said, Oh my god. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Poor K. Oh my god. You were born in 2004? You're my son's age. Yeah, you're my son's age.
So you were born. You were born in 2004. Yeah, my son just my son just started high school this year. Mm, oh wait, this is a this is a Wood Kingdom one, huh? So I'm going back to the Odyssey to cash this thing in. That's very cumbersome that you have to do this. You you can only you can only put uh, moons in the Odyssey from the kingdom in which you got them. Like this one that I just got, I couldn't go back to the Metro Kingdom and put it in the Odyssey. It wouldn't let me. Clumsome? Hey. Cumbersome is the word. Ugh, ICP. My daughter's boyfriend listens to ICP. Huh? What? Huh? Yes, I'm gonna talk shit about ICP. You know what? Alright, sorry guys, I'm gonna have to focus here. Yeah, can you... Don't... Come on. Put the jump rope. Do, do the jumpy jump rope. Come on. Here I am on Tatooine, skipping double dutch like you've never seen. I know my way around a rope. Help me, Obi-Wan. You're my only hope. Thank you for the $1 donation, iDragon Gaming. All right, I'm going to have to focus now. Why is the camera fucking jittering? That'll do, pig. Uh, where's the donation notifier? Did the donation notifier not pop up? Huh. Where is it? As you play the IC, but I don't really, I couldn't tell you what songs were which, dude. I, I don't listen to them. Really like to play Xenosaga or Xenogears remake, or Gears remake, but I mean, Monolith Soft doesn't even have the rights for Xenogears, and Xenosaga is also not going to happen. Uh, Xenosaga could happen, because uh, you, you don't have to keep doing it to make that happen. I Dragon Gaming. I appreciate it, though. I mean, if you really wanted to see it, I, I could force it. Yeah, uh, a Xenosaga remake could possibly happen because uh, Nintendo does have a pretty, cl a pretty good relationship with... Uh... 
it took two or three minutes for the subscription notifier to pop up? Wow. Okay. Re fucking really? Well, the alerts are slow today. <laughs> do, hey, do you do you want me to just do the notification? I I, I could just force it. Here, what what's the? I can't even remember what what's the one for. Uh... There we go. I didn't even have to force it. That is delayed as shit. iDragon Gaming, thank you. Ding, 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 ding. Oh, there's three of them. You're going to get that to pop up three times now. There you go. Three dollars to get. <laughs> Was it worth three dollars? <laughs> thank you, though. I appreciate it. Hmm? What you oh, you were gonna ask me to go to the store? Oh, what did we need? It's like, <laughs> hide your eyes, hide your kids, hide your wives, hide your sons too, because they be dinging everyone up in here. Woohoo! Ow! <laughs> wow! Oh, I'm getting sidetracked. Uh, yeah, go for this one. Like, I don't even know which ones I want to go after half the time. Uh, all right. Let me get oriented here because this controls a little bit awkwardly. It controls like an actual RC car, though. Another two dollars for my Dragon Gaming. Jesus, thank you. You're too kind. Is that, I I can't remember the threshold I th for the for the other donation notifiers. Pretty sure they would do a Xenoblade X port first if they're already working on a new Xenoblade, and probably on the other Nintendo too. Uh, Xenocycle will probably still have to wait a while. Maybe. Um, as far as the X port though, um, I mean I feel like at this point they would like almost have to. Especially uh, with the discontinuation of Miiverse, there are um, there's uh, achievements in Xenoblade Chronicles X that can't be unlocked now because they they were uh, they were tied to Blade reports and Blade reports were a Miiverse function. So I'm actually glad I 100%ed Xenoblade Chronicles X when I did. Because I got all of the achievements back before Miiverse was shut down. Lock <laughs> it up, your wife. Lock up your back door and run for your life. <laughs> oh. Is there a second one? No, I believe that's post-game. I can't remember. I'm thinking it's post-game, though. Oh, uh, what do we got? Oh, we got 30 of these things? Shit. Mario Maker time. No, I'm not playing Mario Maker, but I am going to get the little outfit because I like it. Oh, I know that one. I know ACDC. TNT. It's, oh my... I can't. Oh my god, I can't. Wow. Mmm. It's done. Oh my. <coughs> wow, I fucked myself up doing that. I've got big balls and she's got big balls. There we go. I'll sing that one. It's a little smoother on the throat. Yeah. Mmm. 
Yeah, big balls are easy is easier on my. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> Mm. Big balls is easier on my throat. Go ahead, go ahead. Fuck, fucking somebody clip that. If this was Twitch, I'd tell you to quit. I fucking dare you to clip it. That's what. That's what would happen. You can find a way. You can just get the archive, and then you could like record that little clip out of it. You can do that. I don't fucking care. I dare you. Big balls. My fucking throat loves big balls. There's a second moon under the 20 for under 25 seconds. Yeah, I think that's post game though. Like if I were to do 25 seconds now it wouldn't uh it wouldn't do shit. Uh, also, Tomato, welcome to that LP show. Did I get these? See, look at that. That's fucking sneaky. <laughs> Got all these little nooks and crannies. You know what? I'm... I think for now, I'm just going to get on with... Uh... I, the main objectives here, and then I'll do a cleanup afterwards. <clears throat> yeah, I, I, I honestly didn't expect that to happen because I've s sang that song before without uh, hacking up my own lung. Really sad when I saw the last cutscene of Elma's Affinity Charts because there was Cosmos, there was Shulk, Elma, and Rex, but not Faye. Oh, yeah. I hear a lot of people are actually pissed off about Elma's Infinity uh, Infinity Chart. Like, they can't finish it because the RNG gods haven't uh, given them Cosmos. <laughs> wow, that took forever! But, you know, once again, thank you! Yeah, I do love the fucking F-bomb. Boom! Yeah, um, yeah, I don't mind colorful language here. As long as you don't direct it at others. Like, saying fuck is fine as a sentence enhancer. Don't say fuck you to other viewers. The way I see it, there's a... There, there's a... Line between mature content and maturity. And if you don't know the difference, then... Eh, you're probably not old enough. I should have sat there and listened to that for a little bit, because I I like I like the bass line for the Mario theme. It goes unappreciated. Yeah, Cosmos wasn't my last uh, blade. Who was my last? Electro was my last blade. I was one of the fortunate ones who got Cosmos uh, fairly early. I, I What am I doing? I got her in like chapter six. And I pulled her on Morag and overdrived her to Zeke. But yeah, I got her uh, in um, chapter six from a common core crystal of all things. Yeah, I can't say any of the blades gave me, um, <clears throat> like, a particular issue. I, maybe they did. I think I'm just m more patient than most people, you know. I just, I, I did what I had to do to, to, um, to farm the Relentless Arden. Uh, Relentless R Durant. I can't even remember the fucking name of that thing. It's the big ass fucking Moo Cow. Ardoran. 
Duran Duran. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck I'm saying. You know what I like? I, I'm just surprised that they addressed it. Yeah, I, I'm. I'm just. I'm. I'm just surprised that they uh, addressed it in the game. How um, the two different localization teams for uh, yeah for Noe and Noa and Xenoblade X have different pronunciations of Napon. Um, and they actually point that out in the game where they're like, I think it's Bridget says it to Elma. Who's like, you pronounce Napon as no pawn, but we actually use a, uh, a small vowel sound. So that was a neat little touch. What's that? Uh, oh, 39. Friend got Cosmos in Chapter 4, which was before I got it, which means really late because she played Xenoblade 2 on my Switch with me, so she couldn't finish it in a few weeks. Oh, Yeah, wow, chapter four? Shit. I thought I got lucky. Well then again, I got her from a I got her from a common. Did you get her from a common? Yeah, I like how they did the whole thing with uh I uh I like how they did that with not pawn versus no pawn. It was just a cool little touch. You know, if they I feel like if they had Sheon at some point in the game, make some kind of cameo appearance. They might address the two different pronunciations of Cosmos. Because in Xenoblade Chronicles 2, they call her Cosmos. Um, I'm used to saying Cosmos because I played Xenosaga in English where they pronounce it as Cosmos. You know, two uh, long O sounds. Yeah, I was in the Marine Corps. I served eight years. Yeah. Gotta go underground. Oh, yeah, Estelle. Yeah, Estelle is kind of like a young version, kind of a reference to Shion. Estelle is actually voiced by Sky Bennett. Who voices Pyra and Mithra. Oh, thank you, Jeronis. I don't really see myself as funny. I just kind of talk and apparently I say weird shit. Ah. Hmm, and I know they pronounced Cosmos, Cosmo, huh? You didn't watch it in Japanese? I don't know how they pronounce it in uh, Japanese. Do they say Cosmos or Cosmos? Maybe they say Cosmos, since that's actually the word it seems to be playing on. Then again, I hear that that word is, like, pronounced differently in different regions as well. You know, I call that character Cosmos, but um, when I'm referring to, like, space and the universe, I refer to, refer to it as the Cosmos. Don't know why. <laughs> it's kind of hard to... Uh, To, uh, it's kind of hard to figure out how you pronounce it through text because nobody really spells it differently but in English probably in other languages I don't know we have a long O sound where you pronounce the letter O exactly as it is O then you have uh, the small O sound which is ah so do you use long like O or short, like ah. <laughs> Yo.
You pronounce it the Xenosaga way, so you say Cosmos. Yeah, that's how I say it. Yeah, and that's because I played Xenosaga first. I, I played the Xenosaga games back when they were, were new. I was introduced to the character as Cosmos, so I call her Cosmos. It's kind of like how, in spite of being American, I say Napon instead of Nopon, um, because that was my that was my introduction to the characters, because I played the original Xenoblade Chronicles, back when it was new so my introduction to the Napons were as Napons not Nopons in fact I saw I thought it was kind of weird hearing it pronounced Nopon in X but I got used to it oh my god they're running at like 15 frames per second look at those guys eh 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 shitty frame rate Watch Xenosaga first two, and I'd never say new pawn. How about the way Keen pronounces them? He's like Napoons. I'm like, what's a Napoon? <laughs> like, they don't say that in any of the games. Okay. You know what? I'm going to... I'm going to do this just so you can enjoy it. Hey, Zio Kim! I increased the volume so you'd be able to enjoy this. Ruined it. Yeah, it is kind of Sonic-ish.
what do you do for fun, Jeronis? Masturbate? That's what I do. <laughs> Wait, can you write Cosmos as the universe stuff? You do it with a C in English, right? Because I think Cosmos is just the German word for it because there's a lot of German in that game. Oh, look, it's her Donkey Kong animation. Um, when referring to the universe as the cosmos, yeah, we use a C. <laughs> you pronounce, uh, you pronounce it as cosmos? Yeah, um, I pronounce it cosmos because that's how they pronounced it in Xenosaga. That's the way I was introduced to the name. Yeah, I figured you liked to write because you were mentioning poetry and quoting uh, Stephen King. But, Zeokim, anyway, uh, welcome to that OP show for the first time in a really long time. How you doing? Splendid! Yeah, I'm gonna do some cleanup here, though. What, Atlas? Oh my god. Don't scratch my screen. Don't claw at my screen. I will eat you. Ugh. Whoa! Whoa! Don't fall, buddy. Okay, go do something. Jesus. Uh, no, the black and white one is, uh, her cat. That, that would be Aziza. Um, that is Atlas. That's my daughter and her boyfriend's cat. All right, let's do some cleanup here. We got lots of moons. It's still pronounced in English because the German word is pronounced different. Oh! This one. Yeah, Zeo Kim. If I didn't watch riff tracks, I'd swear you were dead. <laughs> you just kind of vanished. Whoa, I thought I killed you. You having a midlife crisis? I don't think uh, getting bored of watching streams on YouTube is a sign of a midlife crisis. I think you just got bored. I mean, I've had burnout too. And you think you get bored watching it? Try, try a. Uh, Streaming so frequently that you don't have time to just enjoy games on your own You know that's usually the cause of me taking long hiatuses and breaks because I simply want to enjoy a game on my own That's why I didn't stream this past weekend is because a new DLC came out for uh, Xenoblade Chronicles 2 and I just wanted to enjoy that You weren't sleeping well? Uh, we all get old. I'm getting old. I'm not there yet. Or am I?
Where's that? Oh, it's all the way up there? Shit! You're watching and not playing and just wanted the time to play a lot of games. Yeah, there you go. You want you wanted to Yeah, because if you're watching streams all the time, you won't have time to actually play them. Like sometimes you just want to experience the game on your own. Sometimes you just want to enjoy a game in peace and quiet. And that's what I that's what I wanted with Xenoblade Chronicles 2. That's why I usually don't do blind playthroughs of games because I um I I, I want to experience the game the first time, just, you know, relaxing and enjoying it and not having to f divide my attention between the game and the chat, especially with something as uh, story-based as, as an RPG. Wait, uh, curse wassers don't make that much sense since curse equals cherry wasser, so cherry water, some alcoholic drink doesn't have a plural, so that sounds pretty funny if you're German. Where was that word? Kirschwassers, which I'm probably butchering. I'm probably butchering the butchering the uh, pronunciation. And completely ruining it. You're like, what the fuck is he saying? That's a Kirschwasser. No. <laughs> Is that a word that appears at some point in, uh... Albedo's Reallians. Oh, the little angel girls. Okay. Yeah, they, they're they they're kind of... Uh, wait, are they little angel girls? They, they look kind of like Momo, but they're a different color. I completely forgot about them. Oh god, now we... One of cats has congestive heart disease and we had to spend over $900 for emergency. Now we gotta give him heart medication. Jesus Christ. You know what? I'm gonna sound like... I I'm, I'm gonna sound fucking terrible for saying this. But I have human children to take care of. If... If it costed $900 to fix a sick cat, I would just put the cat down. Uh, I would not invest that much money in a pet. You don't have human children, so those pretty much are your, like, children there, so... Yeah, and that's why I'm saying that I wouldn't do it. If I didn't have, like, actual children, then I, I might be inclined to do the same thing. I, I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, of course you wouldn't want... Look, it, it, it's not even really a matter of, like... I don't like the fact that I would have to make that choice. But if it came down to it, y yeah, no. I'm not going to spend that much money on a pet because I'm not rich. And that's $900 that could be feeding my children. Uh, no. No. So yeah, I see what you're getting at where you you agree but you don't like the fact that you agree. I don't like the fact that you know, I don't have the option. Yeah, but what if one of these cats got sick and the vet was like 900 bucks? No, no. 
Yeah, I know. It's hard. It's hard. It, it's a really rough choice. It, it's it's a shitty decision that I would have to make. But it's still a decision that I would have to make. And I'm not going to spend $900 that I don't have. $900 that, you know... If I spent $900 to on a vet bill for the cat my children would most definitely suffer for it because I am not rich eat the dog or cat when it's about to die it depends on what it's dying of I mean it has fucking rabies I don't want to eat a rabies cat I don't know I don't know like if Will, will it be okay if you cook it fully? <laughs> why am I having this? Why am I thinking about this shit now? No, dog is not delicious. Dog is fucking no. Yes, I've 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 eaten some weird shit in my travels around the world, which includes dog, which includes dog and cat, neither of which are good. I had to watch Oreo die on her own. Didn't know she was dying. To, uh... Yeah, I, and I'm not saying that it's not out of love. It, 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 or it's not it, it's not for a lack of loving my pets that I would make this choice. It, it's just that you know the the animal or my human children. Yeah, because the... Did I get this already? I can't even remember if I fucking got this already. Because the fact is... If I let my pets die... If I let my pets get sick and die... Oh, oh well, I'm a terrible... I'm a terrible pet owner because I allowed that to... Fuck. Because I allowed that to happen. Oh, well. I, I'm a piece of shit. But if I let my children get sick and die... That's a possible jail sentence for gross child negligence. Chinese people still do. I, I, you see, I can't confirm that Chinese people still eat cats. <laughs> Maybe poor ones, I don't know. There we go. Just sit next to the bench. Hello. No, I'm definitely not from around here. Am I even human at this point? Because we got, like, realistically proportioned humans, and whatever kind of plumber goblin Mario is, what the fuck is he at this point? <laughs> plumber goblin. You know what? I need to go back to the Mario Maker outfit. So, it was fun playing with this one for a bit. Which, by the way, this is a reference to Mario's appearance in NES Open Tournament Golf on the NES, obviously, because, you know, NES Open Tournament. Trying to change people's views on eating dogs and cats. I mean, if if they're peaceful about it, and they can. You know, but different cultures. This is a normal thing to happen in a big city. This is cool. This is normal. Fuck. Yes, I am going to redo this for one purple coin.
Uh, I know it's not fair, but I look at companion animals differently from food animals. What's the difference? Your culture. That's that. That's the difference. To eat a cow because it's not cute. I think cows are cute. I think pigs are cute. I eat pork. I don't fucking care. It's meat. I'm trying to survive. Granted, we're not obligate carnivores, so we don't necessarily need meat. Oh, that's right. I need to go in because I fucked up. Uh, here's the thing, though. Um... No, a vegetarian diet or like a vegan diet, you know, I'm sure you can survive that way. Like I said, um, humans aren't obligate carnivores. We don't need meat, but we do need protein sources. And the alternatives to meat may not necessarily be affordable. You, in order to have a vegan diet, you got to have your finances pretty fucking situated. Um, if you have a family that you have to feed, chances are you're not eating vegan unless you're millionaires. It's not happening. Because, yeah, a vegan diet is expensive. Hell, when, uh, when the doctor was, uh, testing me for, like, Lyme disease and shit... Just as a precautionary measure, I had to go gluten-free for a few weeks. My god, that is expensive and time-consuming. Like, I would have to sacrifice many, many of my responsibilities. I would have to let many of my obligations and responsibilities go in order to, in order to eat a vegan diet. Basically need to graze all day long. Like, e like eating grass? What? <laughs> That's what I'm thinking. Oh god, what happened? I'll take a look at it in a second. Oh... Behave. Oh, God. So that was somebody opening the door. That's a thing that happens. Yeah, cows are cute, but, you know, like I said, cows are cute, pigs are cute. I eat lots of animals that I think are cute. Huh? No, I wouldn't eat horse. And I've never been in a situation where I had to eat horse or was given the opportunity. Camel, though, I've eaten camel. Huh? Eh. You know, like, I think ducks are cute. I've eaten duck, rabbit... Chickens... Uh, I don't really think chickens are cute. I don't think they're ugly. The sight of them doesn't offend me. Now, here's the thing. I fucking hate turkeys. I fucking hate turkeys. They're cunts. They are mean motherfuck. Fuck turkeys. And I don't even really care for eating turkey. I prefer ham on Thanksgiving. Not a huge fan of turkey. I 
I remember when I was working for Dish and I had a job at a place where they had turkeys and I was outside, like, uh, yeah, I was outside running some cable and these turkeys were like on top of me and I was like, oh my god, am I about to get gangbanged by turkeys? Did I walk into the wrong neighborhood wearing the wrong fucking colors? You know, that's what I felt like. These turkeys, like, didn't like me there. They didn't like the sound of my drill either. Because every time I would, like, they would be like, Uh, everywhere go to McDonald's. You do eat horse as a secret ingredient in their hamburgers. Not true. But, uh, mealworms. There is processed mealworms in uh mcdonald's meat uh, but it's it's fine because mealworms it, they're they're harmless it, it's just they're protein they're pure freaking protein and, and not even that much like eating mealworms won't hurt you but it also offers no new no real nutritional value there's no point to eating them it's kind of like with uh crickets like you can eat a cricket it's harmless. It offers nothing in terms of nutrients. Yeah, it's good protein. It's it's not enough. You'd like have to eat like a bucket of mealworms to sit there in order to get your daily protein allowance. All right. Uh Ooh. Hello. I see another one I want to go after. I don't think putting horse in a burger would make sense since horses are probably a little more expensive than pit. Yeah. Yeah, that, that, yeah. It's kind of like, uh,. It, it, it's kind of like uh, when there were rumors going about that Jack in the Box was putting kangaroo meat in their burgers. It, it makes no sense. How fucking expensive would a ca You're not cutting corners there. Getting kangaroo meat would be, like, way expensive. Like, one kangaroo is probably going to cost you a few million. You try a kangaroo burger. A kangaroo burger would be... Yeah. No fucking way. I've eaten lion. One lion steak. One lion steak. About seven ounces. Ninety dollars. Ninety dollars. For a seven ounce steak. Because it was lion. Yeah, I've eaten lion. I, eat... <laughs> I don't just eat pussy. I eat big pussy. I eat mean pussy. I eat pussy that will eat you if you're not careful. <laughs> <laughs> Did it taste different? Yeah, it tasted different. I can't really describe it. Yeah, I was good. Yeah, I can't really describe it. People are like, what did it taste like? Well, it didn't taste like chicken. It tasted like lion. I can't describe that. And now here's the thing. Like, I, I traveled the world when I was in the military, and I got to eat some pretty exotic foods, but you'll never guess where I ate lion. Or maybe you will. It might have just been Nightbot Eye Dragon. <laughs> you know, sometimes... He gets a little wily. Nope, not Europe. You have a low frame rate, sir. I 
I ate lion. Yes, I ate lion on the moon. <laughs> there you go. All right, guys, let it go. Bottom line, we don't really talk about wanting to kill in this chat. Not even our worst enemies. Uh, oh, wait a minute. Let's do this. Right, let it go guys it's said and done I can't even remember what I was talking about now oh the lion I ate it in Las Vegas there's an exotic meats place in Vegas and get all kinds of different things there lion steak um, not all the time though as you can imagine it's very rare and lots and lots of paperwork need to be processed in order to acquire lion steak um, legally uh so um pretty much the way that they're able to acquire lion steak legally and like legally kill a lion is because uh for some reason or another the like the it, it's an attempt to keep the lion population growing because believe it or not we're not the only self-destructive species Male lions will sometimes kill the other male lions in an attempt to only have, like, their own, like, gene pool in that pride of lions. They're like, okay, I want to be the one mating with all of these females, but there was a lot, there was a male lion cub born. I'm gonna fucking kill it now so it doesn't grow up to replace me. And then it just keeps doing this until it gets too old to mate. And then there's no more lion cubs being born because it killed all of the male lion cubs that were born. And now there's nothing to there's no one to take his place as like the alpha of that pride so believe it or not we're not the only species on the planet that can be dicks for the sake of being dicks other animals do that too other animals can be assholes and that's what happens with lions is they're prideful dicks and they end up, you know, killing off their own species. So, um, what happens is when a lion is doing this, when a male lion is doing this, um, they, someone will go out and actually kill that male lion to make sure that another that other male lion cubs grow up and are able to mate with the females and um, increase the population of that pride. Then another male wandering in comes from elsewhere, comes in and they kill the old lion's cubs. Yeah. Like, it, it has to be an extreme circumstance, but it, it's when that happens that you're e legally able to hunt and kill a lion. At that point, they actually will uh, put a bounty out on this lion, and uh, that's when poachers can legally hunt down a lion. You weren't banned, Jeronis. What? <laughs> yeah, you weren't banned. There we go. Lion males sound smart. They're not, though. 
They're they're not because they're they're decreasing the population. They're killing off their own fucking species by doing that. It's murder. Plain and simple. It, it, it it's murder. That's what they're doing. That we're not the only species that does that shit. You know, we're we're not the only species who uh, kills its own kind for personal gain. Would a male lion kill his own male lion cub? Absolutely. Nature doesn't do anything for no reason. Um, okay. We are nature. I know it doesn't seem like we're that in tune with our surroundings as other species, but humans are nature too. We are animals. We're not synthetic. We are a naturally occurring species selected by evolution to exist. But yeah, that male lion is killing its own kind, killing its own young, out of pride because it wants to be the one to uh, mate with all the females. Yeah, including humans. I don't think we murder our own kind for good reasons. Not all the time. It's really hard for me to... Like, I have to stretch my brain for a good reason to kill another human being. And, and I, I was in the Marine Corps. I've served in, in a war. I've been to combat... Which you might think, oh, you know, that's a that's a good reason to kill another. No, it's not. Because uh, it really shouldn't have come to a situation to where uniformed men and women are having to go out and kill each other anyway. Uh, that's the result of somebody else failing. Overcrowding, stress, it calls the... Um, it's rare for two male lines to cohabit with them. Overcrowding, stress, it calls the numbers. Are you talking about as far as humans killing humans or the or the lions? Because uh, no, uh, in the case of like calling their numbers or uh, like keeping overcrowding of the pride down. That's actually not the case when they do that, and that's why they put these bounties out on these lines that are doing this, because it calls their numbers too much. They're, they're actually endangering their own species by doing this. Because they're wiping out the pride, because eventually this male lion gets too old to breed, but there's no younger male lions to continue where he left off, and then the entire pride dies. Alright, Yumi. Thank you for dropping by. If you haven't already, go ahead and hit the like button on the way out and have a one that is good. How am I doing? Ah, I got blasted. Got blasted with the sunlight. All right. Leave her, leave him alone. So I got all the coins. Internet was being the internet, so this comment is a little late. My male lion. Okay. So you weren't being sincere in saying that. It's kind of like, oh, they sound real smart, when actually what you mean is they're they're dumbasses. I get it now. Don't do it to their own too often? Yeah, yeah, and that's... It, it, well, in this case, they are doing that, and that's why it's considered enough of a problem for um, people to go like, okay, uh, th this is an issue, this lion needs to go, 
because he, he's he's fucking nuts. He, you know, something needs to be done. Like I said, it takes a lot. And uh, going back on what started, what spurred this conversation, that is why lion steaks are so, as expensive as they are, and that's why they're not readily available all the time. Like you, chance you can't just go like, oh, I got ninety bucks, I'm gonna go to this exotic meats place in Las Vegas and get some lion meat because it may not actually be there because you know lions are behaving themselves and it hasn't been deemed necessary to go out and kill one in order to save the species but no it doesn't happen often but it does happen and it's the lions who are doing that shit that you know it's decided yeah they, they really need to go let's talk to talk to where is he How am I doing? Off the beaten wire. How do I access this area? I know the area is talking about. It's not over there. Which I think it's way over here. The building I didn't go into before. I already went into that one, didn't I? Huh. Male lion is like that. It's probably another underlying reason. Like, they've been poached, their numbers are down, and the old lions are able to stay in power longer than they should. Or it could be a chemical balance in that lion's brain causing him to go ape shit. Because lions can suffer from mental disorders. Animals can suffer from mental disorders. You know, a dog can suffer depression due to uh, a, a lack of serotonin. Oh, fuck! Really? Yeah. Do, do, dogs get depressed when they don't get laid. Yeah, if a female dog. That's actually. I don't want to say. I don't. I don't want to say that's funny, but. Yeah. Dog goes too long without. Like mating, it'll start feeling like uh, it's too ugly to mate, and it'll get depressed. Oh god, that's terrible with the pig. <laughs> Boom! There we go. That's fucked up. <laughs> Cartoon pig killing its newborn babies. Ugh. Yeah, but, um, yeah, the, it, it's definitely, if it's survival instinct, then, the, then I think lines are going because of natural selection, if that's the case. Um, but no, I, I think the reason that these lines do this is it just simply they're psychotic. Something is wrong with their brain, and they're not right. It was a cartoon. It's the idea. Yeah, it's just the idea of uh, killing one's own young. I'm sure that that was made to send a message. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's just, it's more readily apparent that these things happen in humans... Because we can communicate with each other, you know, if, you know, so, you know, like, a, 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 like if, if, a, if a cat or something has a mental illness and thinks that it's the, and thinks that it's the reincarnation of Christ, 
We won't know because the cat can't walk around telling us that it's Jesus. All right, I'm backtracking a little bit. Yeah, there's regular people walking around. It, they they kind of like Sonic 06 it. It's weird. Actually, this is the perfect opportunity for me to try something. It's going to be a little involved, so bear with me. How does a cat know who Jesus is? I don't fucking know. <laughs> I'm just, it's an example. Like, the cat could have delusions of grandeur, pretty much. And let's not fool ourselves. I think we all know cats who think that they're in charge when they're not. Uh, okay. Coming here because there's the there's the Metro Kingdom art. Parrots can parrot. They they mimic. They they can't they can't hold conversation. Yeah, but the thing is, is that animals can suffer from mental illnesses, and it's not readily apparent because they can't talk about their problems with us. There's one great parrot that was super smart. That's debatable. Um, to quote Qui-Gon Jinn, the ability to speak does not make one intelligent. That parrot could have been a fucking idiot. <laughs> like, oh, like, this animal can talk. It's intelligent. Yeah, but what does it say? It probably goes around saying, like, yeah. If it says the moon's made out of cheese, then no, it's stupid. About animal rights and shit, I'm not one of those people. I mean, if it doesn't affect me, I, I tend not to care. I, I There's a word for it. I think it's asshole. That's what I am. But, you know... <laughs> Okay, so he understands commands. I mean, a dog can do that too. Like a dog can recognize like outside and they're like, huh, huh, outside? Yeah, friendly debate's fine. We're having a discussion. Now, if someone were to come here and say like, you're a piece of shit because you eat meat, then that's where it becomes a problem. No, I don't want to come here. Why did I come here? That mean we can talk about politics here? Yes and no, I guess. I just, I, 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 it's just something I don't care about. All right, now hold on. There's no real reason for me to like try this here because it's not that difficult, but there's a version of this later on, and I figure as long as I'm here, I'm going to test out to see if I can do this. Can you master picture match? Yeah, I'll give it a try. Get up on there. All right. We're going to take a screenshot. Okay.
So... I'm gonna go off camera for a second here. You're gonna see another scene. I'm gonna be explaining what I'm doing, though. Who? Did someone just donate? What was that? Who was that? I didn't see a super chat here. That might have been a delayed reaction if it was. That was weird. iDragon Gaming has subscribed. Is that what it's doing? No? Yeah, it's doing it. That's it. What is it doing this for? What's this browser source? That's what it is. Weird. Okay. So here's what I'm going to do here. Let's get rid of all of these. Uh... There we go. And I'm going to... I want this to go full screen. All right, got that going full screen. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to make it go full screen for me. Well, and I'm going to, uh, I'm gonna screen cap it. No. Shit, all right. I'm like all over the place. I'm trying a thing here. I'm trying a thing just to see if I can make it work. Okay, so I'm taking that screen cap. Let me open up my uh, editor here. Sorry, I don't have any on screen, so I'm just going to have to... I'm trying to interpret what I'm doing here. All right. Now I'm going to grab that screen cap that I just took, like on my PC. That's why, that's why I enlarged it and made it full screen, so I could actually full screen my OBS preview and take a, a screen cap of it. You guys can still see me, what, okay. <laughs> I have OBS shrunk. Okay, um. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Where is it, where is screenshots? Gonna put the screenshot in the editor. And I'm gonna kinda see if I can fade it. Huh. Okay, I'm doing that, and I'm going to make, I hope this works. I hope that, I, I mean, if it doesn't work, whatever, but if it works, that'll be kind of cool. So what I'm doing is I'm taking this screenshot, and I'm trying to fade it to make it kind of see-through. Screenshots, screenshots, my god, I have too many fucking sh Too many. Too many pictures. Alright, let's close that up. Alright, you're trying to interpret what I'm saying. So pretty much what I did. So I took the screenshot of this. And then I, um... I went full screen on OBS... I did a full screen preview, and then when I had that, uh, this image full screened, I took a screenshot. Then I opened it up in an editor, and I kind of like faded its opaqueness so it's somewhat transparent. And let's see, I want to add another image here. No, not, yeah, I want to add another image here. Not to this scene. I don't want to add it to this scene. 
All right. Let's see. H. Hey, I Dragon Gaming. <laughs> Why was he? I don't know. Yeah, just let it go. Let it go. Cause I, I don't know what happened and I don't wanna I don't want a big hullabaloo in my chat, so uh where is it? Screenshots, there we go. Alright. So let's see if this works. I'm gonna go back into the game now. Now this is gonna be a little cumbersome because cumbersome there's that word again because I'm going to have to use my OBS preview in order to do this so there's gonna be somewhat of a delay from where I'm looking but boom you see that how there's like a transparent version of the picture over it so this is something I could do with the harder challenge later on you see that you see that shit <laughs> All right, so this is gonna because I'm yeah, I'm looking at a you gonna take off Maynith. All right, well thank you for dropping by. If you haven't already, go ahead and hit the like button on the way out and have a one that is good. So, <laughs> I can't believe this is actually fucking working. I am such a cheating chump. Boom, boom. Come on. How does that look, guys? Does that look good? Does that line up? I think that lines up. Boom. You see how I have the how I did that? How I have the transparent version of the of the picture over the uh I have it over the gameplay footage. Now in order to do this, I'm actually having to look at my OBS preview. So there's like a small delay uh, between me doing something on my TV and it showing up in the OBS preview. Shit, that might be a little too much there. All right. That look good? I think that looks good. But <laughs> I'm terrible. I'm going like far out of my way to fucking cheat, but you know what? Fuck this, fuck the Mario version of this later on. Especially the one where it completely disappears. Is that good? All right, I think that's acceptable. I'm just terrible. I can't believe this fucking worked. Looks okay. This is a t this is terrible though. <laughs> But you know what? I'm gonna pat myself on the back because as bad as it is, it's also fucking genius. All right, let's see how this did. Let's see if my plan worked. Hold on, let, let's go ahead and uh, take that image off there. Boom. All right. Let's see how we did. Uh. Far out of my way to make that work, but I had to see. I had to see if that worked. Oh my god. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm gonna fucking do that when I get to the Mario one later on in the game because fuck that one. 
I hate that one. So that was a very involved way of cheating. <laughs> so I have your uh, SNES console from when you were 12, though, in a few days. Get the, oh, that, that special flash cartridge. Jacob has that. All right. When this gets archived, I need to find the part that's in that stream, and I need to highlight it. Uh... Yeah, if I recall, we were talking about that cartridge, because they just had an update to it, which um, gives it super FX support. Which is, you know, impressive. I'm wondering because, from what I understand, they t they it's an adjustment they made to the firmware to emulate or simulate the super FX functionality, but they didn't actually put a super FX chip in the cartridge itself. So, it, it's... I'm wondering if it if it uh, does Super FX games with cycle accuracy. That's all I'm doing. Uh, the Super FX chip that was the, uh, it was an enhancement chip for the uh, Super NES cartridges, specifically for games like Star Fox, to give it those uh, polygonal graphics that it had. I fucking hate this one. I hate this rabbit. Come on. The camera can rightly go fuck itself. I hate this rabbit. Ooh. Thank you. Dick. We good? I'm gonna go talk to the damn bird and find out if we're good. Yeah, the Super FX enhancement shit. Because the uh, the uh, flash the flash cartridge that he's talking about has very limited compatibility. Um, specifically, it can't play games that uh, used enhancement chips in the original Super NES cartridges. That would be games like uh, Star Fox because it had the Super FX chip. It also couldn't do games like Kirby Superstar or Super Mario RPG because they use the SA1 enhancement chip. Um, and it can't do Mega Man X2 or X3 because those cartridges used the uh, CX4 enhancement chips in order to create wireframe effects. Yeah, because flat because flash cartridges for consoles have very very limited capabilities or compatibility because of the because of games that used enhancement chips. You know, because in this case it's a flash cartridge, you load the ROM and you're playing it off the original Super NES hardware. It's not running on an emulator that can, um, you know, that can emulate the, fun they, they can do hardware emulation to uh, duplicate the function of the actual enhancement chips. In this case, you're pretty much just loading the ROM into the actual Super NES on a cartridge that doesn't have the, that enhancement chip. So it, it, it just can't run the game.
Alright, I think I want to hit up the shop before we go, because I don't think I bought everything in here. Now you understand? Yeah. Because you're not playing it on an emulator, you're just trying to load the game from a cartridge that doesn't have the actual enhancement chip. If you're playing a game on, like, you can play Yoshi, you can play, like, Yoshi's Island or Star Fox, which both use the Super FX chip. You can play those on an emulator because it's a hardware emulator. It's emulating the functionality of not only the console, but all of the enhancement chips. When it can, um, the only, the, uh, like, ZSNES 9X, Yoshi's Island, and Star Fox are going to stutter a bit on those because it can't emulate the Super FX chip with cycle accuracy. Uh, for that, you're going to need Hegan. That, that, yeah, Hegan or like uh, BSNES uh, from like Bu. The, those are the only emulators that can uh, do cycle accuracy with the Super FX. But other than that, it. it like, SNES 9X does other uh, enhancement chips just fine. So it can run, like, Mega Man X2, X3, because it can do CX4. Am I blowing your mind here? Oh, man, I need water. What? 159? Oh, 259. Shouldn't I have like 260? What am I fucking missing? Which one am I missing? One. I got it. I know. It's hard to figure out all that on your own, and it's nice when someone explains it all who knows what they're talking about. I, I'll be the first to tell you I'm no expert. Is this? I know electronics. Like, like, um, the NES, like, the, like the the NES soundboard wasn't capable of uh, playing songs in a seven eighths time signature. Yet the Ducktales Moon theme and the Boss theme from Fester's Quest are songs that are played in a seven eighths time signature. How did it do that? by uh, using a form of electronic encapsulation known as mixed metering on the soundboard in order to force it to sound like that. So yeah, uh, there's only only two games in the entire NES library at a 7 8 time signature. The Moon theme from DuckTales and the Boss theme from Fester's Quest. And without using mixed metering on the soundboard, um, there was no way it could have done that. If someone says fuck Mariah Carey, is that against the rules? I ask because even though you're not saying fuck someone in the chat, you are insulting someone out of the chat. Let's just not insult anybody, even if you hate them. Like, I'm not a big fan of Donald Trump, but I'm not going to condone someone, someone coming in here and saying fuck Donald Trump. No, I don't like him. I will say that. I don't like him. I don't think he should have a seat in the White House or be in politics at all. But I'm not going to just straight up say fuck Donald Trump or insult the man or... I don't know. Just if it, it try to use judgment. If it sounds like a bad idea, don't do it. It sounds garbled. What the moon theme from DuckTales? What sounds garbled?
Seriously, eye dragging. Come on. Behave yourself, man. Behave yourself. Don't push it. My my like my mods will jump on you. Oh yes, it's colder than a witch's tit. I agree, Cappy. Not that you would know anything about tits, you're a hat. I don't know, maybe you would. Oh, shit. Hold on, guys. I gotta take a restroom break. I need to refill my cup. Jeronis, let's not focus on that. All right. Yeah, I'm not leaving. Again, snow thing, whatever. What are these things? They're not quite bears. They're not quite gerbils. Should be a little Eskimo snowball things. Who knows? Ah! Ah! The frosted cake? Oh god! You know what? It's a Mario game! It always comes down to cake! There is always cake! Yeah, I, I don't know. Eskimo? Is Eskimo insensitive? Should I say Inuit? I don't know. <laughs> Shit! I'm having a hard time focusing right now because I have gas, but I can't push the fart out. It's like, uh, I hate that. Hey Sarah, what's going on? Welcome to that LP show. The name of the game is Super Mario Odyssey. God damn! I wish I could fart. Why? Why? It's like, ooh, is there a plug in there? Isn't this just a wonderful conversation? 
I'm having old man body problems. Need to fart. Got the hard gas. I can feel it. I don't want to force it because I, I don't want to accidentally poop. But... <laughs> Uh, Super Mario Odyssey on two players? A little bit. Like, I, yeah, I, I tried that with my kids. It just ends up being frustrating because it's just easier to play when you can just throw Cappy and you don't have to rely on another, uh, you don't have to rely on another person to do all of Cappy's functions for you. Um... I also uh, switched to two-player in order to uh, control Cappy directly with the second controller while playing volleyball in the uh, Seaside Kingdom because screw that minigame, I don't like it. So I cheat. <laughs> yeah, that's the new DLC. It's the, it's the I Wish I Could Fart expansion. The expansion pass gas. Did I get everything in here? I think so. Alright. The energy of the power moon seems to open those barriers. So... Oh, okay, I, I, I don't get it. So, like... Because I have them, did I? So, w was there like a machine being powered by the power of moons that, like, close the doors or or like keep them open? I'm trying to figure out how that works. Like, I did I turn something off that's locking the doors and keeping them shut? This man has no penis. Isn't that a go- Oh, no, no. The, the line from Ghostbusters is, This man has no dick. Sure, that cold-ass snow feels great. I'm sure Mario's experiencing some shrinkage right now. It's not a myth. It's real. It's totally real. Uh, in Ace Ventura, when he screams the opposite. This man has a pit. Oh, that's right, because the villain in that was transgender. You think you can get away with a transgender villain nowadays? Like, they'll, they'll probably, like, you could have a transgender character in, uh, in, in fiction, but I think, uh, n like, nowadays, you would have to make them, what you couldn't make them a villain. Because then, we'll, it, then you'd have people going like, oh, you're villainizing transgender people. Yeah, the, ch yeah, uh, Ray Finkel. Was the character's name, right? I believe it was Ray Finkel. Turns out to actually be that female cop. Don't think that movie's very... Pe no, no, it did shit that you can't get away with now. Like, you know... <laughs> Have you seen, oh, what was it? Um, yeah, I'm looking for Ray Finkel. <laughs> and a fresh pair of underwear. <laughs> God, it's been years since I've seen those movies. Mario's mustache isn't real. Oh my god, because we were doing the did you know stuff. You know what? It's real, but let's see. You know what? They actually make it brown in this. Which is kind of cool because like, you look at earlier versions of Mario, and he has a black mustache in spite of having brown hair. It's like, why doesn't his facial hair match his hair color?
Dan Marchetti swinging by to drop a like. Okay, thank you. Welcome to that LP show. The name of the game is Super Mario Odyssey. Uh, nope. I need to watch those movies again now. I think they're on Netflix. At least I thought I saw the second one on Netflix. What am I doing? Oh God. Like not paying attention over here. Wayne's World is now considered an educational movie because it shows what it's like to grow up in the 80s, or so I hear that it's now edu That's another one I haven't seen for years. If you're going to spew, spew into this. It's just hard to believe that Dana Carvey was like in his 40s when he played, uh, when he played Garth. Figure Bill and Ted Excellent Adventure would be more educational. Hell no. <laughs> They're making a third one. I heard Alex Winters and uh, and Keanu Reeves is trying to get together uh, to make a, a third Bill and Ted movie. But yeah, Dana Carvey, when he played Garth, he was like in his 40s. He's in his 60s now. It's like nuts. What, did you not know that? E! They're wearing Santa hats. Which implies that Goombas celebrate... Christmas. Which implies that Goombas are Christian. Why are you attacking me? Oh, that's right. I probably don't believe what you believe, so you want to kill me. Ooh, topical. <laughs> oh, if that happened to you, you are not doing a good thing by doing that. Why? Were you? Were you banned? Why? I didn't even see that. Uh, no, I'm not on Twitch, Jeronis. Sometimes I just talk to myself. Maybe you're not necessarily seeing comments because you have uh, top chat enabled instead of live chat, so you're not seeing certain things. If one of my mods banned you, you must have been really pushing your luck. So, I may have not been... Were you timed out three times? It's probably because you kept pushing your luck with what you're allowed to say. You said F you to who? Right, because my only stipulation is that if you swear, you don't direct you don't direct hostility towards other people. You don't come in here and just blatantly insult someone. Oh god, Master of Disguise, am I not turtly enough for the Turtle Club? That movie was terrible. <laughs> uh. 
I don't know, it keeps getting brought up. That's the only part I remember. Am I not turtly enough for the turtle club? And then the part where he bites someone's nose off and then spits it back onto their face and they're okay. It's like... Even in the realm of that movie's own insanity, it doesn't make any sense. Like, what was that supposed to be in context of that movie's universe? Can supernatural shit occur there? Did they, when did they establish that? Parts of this song sounds like something you'd hear, like, in Chrono Cross or something with Yasunori Mitsuda since for like a long time there, especially during the PS1 era, uh, Mitsuda seemed to have favored like a Celtic motif of sorts. Are you hyperventilating over there, dude? Come on. Ugh. Oh, every once in a while that turtle suit scene pops into my head and I can't get rid of it. No, not you. Somebody behind, like... Oh, you guys are laughing at something. You sounded like you were hyperventilating. Okay, so if it does sound like I'm talking to somebody who's not in the chat, it's because I am. I'm not alone. There are people here in the room with me. And you probably don't hear them when they're speaking to me because of the of the sound gate I have on the microphone. Yeah, it probably depends on how loud they are. Right now, they're just laughing at something. It's they're they're laughing like muttly, you know, the the muttly laugh. That <laughs> yeah, it sounds legit. You know what's not legit? The fact that you clear out all of this snow and it just defies gravity. What the fuck even is that? Why is it doing that? You heard it when he was talking about doggy depression. Oh yeah, like my nephew was behind me and he's like, oh yeah, dogs can get depression when they don't get laid. Ooh, races. Autism is when your brain is wired differently. I don't think he did anything to your butt. Could have. Like butt autism? Oh, you gotta deal with the cards you were dealt. It's fine. I'll take it into account, and if you do, like, if you do or say anything or get confused by something or don't pick up on sarcasm, we'll let you know. Yeah, it can always be worse. You know, you could be born a Siamese twin, and your brother's gay, and his brother's coming over tonight, and you share an ass. <laughs> then you'd be getting fucked in the ass by someone completely different.
Oh, come on, stop roly polying around, you suck. Oh, God. Yep, let's do this. Yeah, I don't need a tutorial. Alright, I need to focus on this because oh, I hate this one, especially when he, like, bounces backwards because you hit those wood panels at the wrong angle. I hate that. What do you have your AC set to? My AC was having issues, um, not cooling downstairs. The, the filter was gross, so we replaced the filter. And it seems to work just fine. I only have it to 78. Because if I put it any lower, my wife explodes. Ah, fuck. See, right there, when they hit the wood paneling at the wrong angle and he bounces backwards. It's like, ugh, game can go fuck itself. God. There we go. Ugh. It's the Bound Bull Grand Prix, where you you bounce and you don't always know when you're going to bounce. You have it at max. What does that mean? Like, like, do you have a thermostat on your wall somewhere where you can set the actual temperature? Because that's what, that's what we have. Yeah, we have it set to 78 degrees, and it wasn't, it, it wasn't doing anything for downstairs for, like, the longest time there. And that's because the filter was, like, nasty and clogged, but... Oh, okay. All right, we have... I was thinking Central AC because we have Central. still cold though yeah why wouldn't it be cold stupid whoa 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 well that could have gone better it didn't all right all right There we go. Um, where am I supposed to take this guy? I forget. Oh, I didn't see. Well, I'll get those later. That's what I'm going after. Right there. I don't think I need this guy for anything else. Everything runs slower, light bulbs are dimmer. That just sounds like, that sounds like bad wiring. That sounds like bad wiring, like the type of bad wiring that could, that could eventually lead to um, some safety issues. Yes, I'm flying now. I am a puffy cloud thing. A puffy cloud thing of um, uh, of a nature which is up for interpretation. I don't know exactly what it is. I'll rewire your house. I'll rewire your whole house. $7,000. Actually, I'll give you a deal. $5,000. Since we're friends.
Yeah, don't give me that look. That that's pretty good for rewiring an entire house. Like completely redoing all of it. Wallfishes crawling up in crawl spaces and attics. It's not to mention cost of materials. Yeah, to rewire an entire house, five thousand dollars is pretty damn good. That's why you haven't gotten it done yet? Yeah. Yeah, if I were to rewire your house, I mean, I, I would probably charge you somewhere between uh, five to $6,000. Um, and that's me being generous, I'm telling you right now. That's that, that that's me almost work that would be me almost working at a loss. Well, that's just the world we live in. Hey Yami. Welcome to that OP show. Yeah, but seriously, have you looked up the rates for having an entire house rewired? Is it one story? Is it two story? Do you have an attic or a crawl space? How many rooms? How many wall outlets? How many light switches? How many light fixtures? Uh, do you want to have any added, moved, removed, you know, something like that? Yeah, but when you have want a house rewired and you come to me and I'm like five thousand bucks, no, I I'm probably being de generous. Depends. I don't know if you live in like a small two bedroom kind of guest house type thing might be okay there where there's like a this is what I wanted each room has one outlet so each room has one outlet are they grounded are they grounded outlets As in, do they... F it's not a two-story house, but the attic is finished. Okay. So, wall fishes would probably be more efficient to drop the wires down in there. It was built in 1947. So, I'm going to say that the, uh, the outlets are not grounded. <laughs> which means that they fit only two prongs instead of three. Some of them are, some of them aren't. All right. Additions made over the years. So, if I were to do it, I would simply... Oh my god, that's not even up to code. I would I would have all of your outlets being grounded. Because that would simply be bringing it up to um, code for most states. I know with California state code, yeah. It, it, you're, having a, you're having grounded outlets. Or no insurance company is going to insure your home. The ones out in the kitchen aren't. That's where you want grounded outlets for like different appliances and shit. I'm like looking around for. Ah, oh, there's one. We're hunting moons. You know what? I made that beanstalk thing, and I didn't climb it, so I'm going to climb this beanstalk. I don't know why I just grew it and I didn't climb it. You can't run the toaster oven with the coffee maker or the fuse blows. Yeah, that's bad. Yeah, oh my god. 
if it wasn't for the fact that you're saying like every room has one outlet I would definitely be going with like a solid you're looking at about you're looking at about uh, 5500 like I'm and I'm still being generous Oh, ho, ho. here's a question. 1947, you have tile roof, shingled roof, rock roof. Do you have a rock roof? I don't know. Because <laughs> I know also in California, if you have like a rock roof, you're not getting homeowner's insurance. They will not touch you. It was reshingled in 1997. Good. Like, I'm sure, like, cable companies fucking love you because it's definitely not a pre wired house. Uh, pre wired means that there's, like, a junction box, uh, like, outside, which connects the coaxial cable through wall drops. Like, all, all of the coaxial cable for television uh, is in wall drops throughout the house, and it all goes up through the walls, through the attic or crawl space, and out to a junction box, usually somewhere around the garage. I know when I worked for Dish, I loved pre-wired houses. It was, like, quick. Oh, bunny fuck. Get, get the fuck over get, get the fuck over here, you stupid rabbit. Ooh. I don't like you, rabbit. There you go. Pots and pfeffer stew. The wires are laying in the crawl space. Yeah, um, that, that's normal. I would actually have them stapled to the rafters. Like, I, the way I would run them... Yeah, the, the way I would run them is, um... Like, they would come up through the walls. Yeah, they would come up through the walls. Um... And they would run to your breaker. Uh, it, yeah, when I ran them to your breaker, I would actually st staple the run uh, to the side of the the rafters that way if anybody needs to get up there you don't accidentally run the risk of uh, stepping on them in fact they would probably be I would have them concealed by your insulation yeah yeah, if, if you don't fix it up, you're going to mess with the resale value, and it's just uneconomical. I mean, unless someone's really, really desperate. If someone wants to just, like, pay cash up front for your little house and not go through the whole escrow process, which I've seen people do it, especially nowadays, you know, because the housing market was, like, so brutally fucked a while back. I don't think it's still fully recovered. Bailout. Yeah, that's the term I was looking for. Where are those other little moon pieces? I'm not going inside to those places quite yet. You know what? They're probably like in the water. Are those penguins? Were those flying penguins? What the fuck world am I in? Were those flying penguins?
Were we talking about politics? I thought we were talking about the housing market <laughs> and resale value. Fish fly sometimes. Not penguins. Penguins aren't fish. I, I'm still, like, up in the air whether or not penguins are birds. <laughs> are you guys having, like, a different conversation? Because I'm over here talking about houses, and then it switches over to politics. Yeah, fish who swim in lava. Anything goes. Touche. But I have a logical explanation for why fish swim in lava in Super Mario World. They're lava fish. You know. A, a lava f If they were regular fish, I would doubt them swimming in lava. But they're lava fish, so it clearly makes sense. Um, but it still doesn't make sense for a uh, penguin to fly. It just doesn't. It just ain't fitting, that's all. It just ain't fitting. Yes, I quoted Mammy from Gone with the Wind. Shut up. <laughs> Where is... Where's the other... Uh... It's probably somewhere up here. Let's find... There it is! Well, I'll be dipped in shit and rolled in breadcrumbs. It was easier than I thought. What happens where what happens when you get all the purple coins in a world then you can afford all the stuff in their purple coin shop and that is about it <laughs> yeah you can afford all the things and that's pretty much what it's for Yeah, so I have all I have all of the purple coins from the Snow Kingdom. So before I leave, I'm gonna go buy up everything in its sh in the shop. I can only suspend my disbelief so much. Like, if you create a new species in a video game, like, you know, if you have a lava fish and you establish, like, hey, okay, this is, a, this is a lava fish, it can swim in lava, there you go. But if you take, like, a real life, like, earth creature and you make it do something that it can't do like, in reality, then I'm like, uh, okay, that's a little, that's a little much. I need to find... I need you. That's what I need. I need you up there, cloudy guy. But, you know, honestly, I could have just um, misinterpreted what I saw. They very well may have not been penguins. I wasn't looking all that hard.
They have selective logic. Oh, bloody, bloody, blowed. All right. Oh my God. Let's see. You go this way. Then that way. Well, shit. Oh wait, I might be okay. I might be okay. Yep. All right. I did this in more moves than I really wanted to, but it still works. Artificial intelligence is dumber than natural stupidity. I don't even know what that means. Maybe I'm artificially intelligent. <laughs> Sunlight. Uh, don't fall off. Hmm? Go ahead. Just don't bang on stuff. He's like, you mind if I do the dishes? And I'm like, fuck yeah, do the dishes. I don't want to do them. <laughs> you are hearing me talk. I don't know. I think Al Gore might be an AI. Uh, Thingy over here. Oh, wait. Oh, my God. No, no. I need to get out of this water and not spend a lot of time in the water because the water is cold. If you spend too much time in that cold-ass water, it will hurt you. They are penguins! No! Yes, everyone loves walking. Walking is fun. Dude, you need to find another way of having fun. Get fucking laid or something. Right here, I think, is good. I'm probably not going to 100% this one. I would focus on the arrows if you didn't make them disappear, dipshit. Oh, it's better than what I thought it would be. Well, holy shit, 100. We good here? We got everything in here? All right, let's go. All right, what else? Oh! How many moons left? I'm not exactly sure. I'm just kind of winging it. Woohoo! I'll go check with Talka too in a little bit. E! E! Well, that's gonna fuck me over. Okay.
Wait, if I remember correctly, keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Boom. I thought I'd land on the moon. Oh well. <laughs> yeah, I'm not exactly sure. Like, I could check the list here, but we don't necessarily have access to all of these right now. But if we talk to Talka 2, that'll uh, clue us in as to roughly how many... Um, Yeah, that, that'll give us a rough idea of how many we can get, like, right now. Hmm? I can't remember this one. Yeah, he, he's fine. He's fine. He's Mario. He can handle it. He can hang. Oh, that's right. I can't. I can't capture shit right now. Oh! I gotta wait for this shit to go up. Yeah, try not to freeze to death here. And we can't capture anything because Cappy's stuck on the Scarecrow outside. Gonna take off Jeronis. All right, thank you for dropping by. If you haven't already, go ahead and hit the like button on the way out and have a one that is good. Where am I? Hmm. Oh shit, come on. Ah, nice, that's convenient. I want to get it as it's coming up. Oh, God. Who am I answering the door for now? Oh. My son is home. That's right, it was an early release day. I'm almost done, buddy. Oh no, it's fine. Um, I think we're good for moons out here. Yeah, I think we're good for moons out here. An on-air sign? Yeah, it wouldn't stop them. You can stop anyone. There's something. Hmm. Hmm. There's nothing. Okay. Woo wee! Oh yay! Wait a minute. Okay, I know where that one is. We gotta remember to get that one later. <laughs> Wait, I don't think any of them... Okay, there's one over there doing it. Well, aren't these a bunch of happy little snowball things? Oh, hi! 
Oh, look at them. They're all Canadian. They're so nice. All right, I'm buying underwear now. There's a very special reason. Uh, is it this guy? Yeah, this guy. He thinks that we're hardcore for being in the snow in our underwear. So we get a moon. I'm not cold, you're cold. Wow. Where's the... There it is. As long as we're here, let's just buy up everything. We have all the purple coins here. Ah! I believe there's a... There's another race, a harder race. An S rank race. The Crazy Cap logo looks like some other logo. I'd have to take a look at it. Before I'm done with the Snow Kingdom? Not exactly. Probably not too many. I think there's like... I think I just have this one to go. Wait, there he is. Yes, let's do it. Is this like the S rank one? Yeah, okay, so it's like harder. It's harder, but we're only going for like one moon instead of a multi moon this time. go oh my god that's bad that's bad that's bad fuck fuck Pucker Factor was real. If there was a piece of coal in my ass, it would be a diamond by now. Alright, um... What is our list looking like? What is that? Ice dodging Goomba stack. That's too close to what that one was before it. Where's Talka to? Right out there. Can you get the war point? Talka, Talka to, where are you? Where? No, seriously, where the fuck are you? Bird! Where is Bird? It's behind me. It's slightly behind me. And it's down inside, isn't it? Why did I warp out? Motherfucker's down inside. Hey, 
Wow. Mario must be heavy. Oh um... Where is Bird? There it is. Alright. What am I missing? Found Snow King tomorrow. Okay, so is that the only one? Captain Toad is chill. Oh, I know where he is. Alright. I know where he is. He's, he's like behind some snow in a wall. It's relatively low, if I'm not mistaken. Oh no, it's all the way up here. This is it! This is where he is. There he goes. Hello! All right. So now I just need to do the Snow Kingdom art, and I think we're good. Yeah, yeah, it wasn't a matter of me hunting down Captain Toad. It was a matter of me remembering that I had to hunt down Captain Toad. But once once I knew that that's the one that I needed to go to, it, it was easy enough. Uh, Lost Kingdom. That's where the art is. Stare at art. Enjoy art. Yeah, all of these, all modern games seem to have a fast travel system now. By the way, if I can get away with streaming tomorrow, either way, I think if, if I can't, then this Saturday. Um, boom. Because this will be available tomorrow, so it would be nice if I could actually, if I uh, manage to squeeze in some stream time tomorrow. We'll be playing that. What am I doing here again? Oh, I remember. I remember. I don't know if the balloon actually increases in size. I think it just, like, fills out. Like, it starts out as a sail and then eventually becomes a balloon. There we go. Get in there. I'm gonna talk to talk to. I'm pretty sure this is all we can get from here for right now. But I'm gonna talk to uh, the bird just in case. Hmm? Yeah, because I, I turned the rest into the Odyssey. No more hints. All right. Let's cash this one in and we're good. Two ninety six. It's pretty good considering that you only need one hundred and twenty four to beat the main game. <laughs> I think we already have enough to unlock Dark Side. I think that's 200, and then 500 for Darker Side.
Uh, I need to change my clothes. I don't want to wander around the Seaside Kingdom all warmed up. Seaside Kingdom. Carbonated Sea. It's supposed to be quite nice. Yeah, carbonated Sea. It's, it's, it's sparkly water. We all know it's champagne. The entire sea of champagne. How many kingdoms does this Mario game have? Thirteen. Oh no, fourteen. Fourteen. Swim trunk time? Well, for right now, typical Mario gear until we get the purple coins to afford that. No, I'm not wearing the boxer shorts. There's an actual outfit for here. Although, hold on, hold on. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? I always thought this outfit looked kind of funny. Because it kind of makes him look like a retired World War II vet who still thinks he's fighting Nazis and he's off his meds and he just like wandered off and escaped from the retirement home. That squid is enjoying a drink. It was, yep, yep, yep. All right. Well, we're going to take care of that next time. So, I think for now, I'm going to call it a stream. My kids are coming home from school because it was an early release day, so it's time to do dad stuff. Um... <clears throat> If anybody's up for a raid, Nightbot's going to have the uh, raid tag coming up. It's probably going to be small. Hashtag that LP raid. Go ahead and copy that, and we'll paste it into somebody's chat when I find them. Oh, perfect. Absolutely perfect. I can't think of someone better. Boom. Dark Jake 13. Let's do this. We're going to go raid him. He's playing The Legend of Zelda uh, Breath of the Wild on Master Mode. Anyway, I will see you guys next time, and until next time, thank you for watching that LP show, and have a one that is good. Mm -hmm.